Pretenuator here trying to make an under 10 minute video showing you how to create your first template. A um, couple times I've gone over and we're going to try to reach YouTube's limit and get you the information you need. I've got my basic template set up here. Menu, you can access preferences and tell it in project defaults whether or not from the top that you want to see. I leave it on off. The demo is what it comes on. Demo template recent is probably what you want to select for when you're firing up because it gives you lots of options. So we'll leave it at that and you can set your BPM that you're generally using and a couple other things in here that aren't as important and then your project load save. I just changed my temporary files location to be on my hard drive because I don't want to write a bunch of crap on the internal one. It's limited space and we don't want to be moving stuff in and off of that. Um, it's a pain in the butt. So put it on your hard drive that you've installed and a solid state drive that's inside the device and then you'll be good to go. So I created a folder. You can see in here if we look, I've just got a few folders. This one just tells me I'm in the internal drive. There's my projects, samples, and temp. Those are the only three you need. So we'll go back. You just uh, add a file name, select it, and now you've got your temporary files location. So menu, when it loads up, it'll load that screen with all three and you can select template down below to load your template out of the demos and recents and some genre basics. Um, we're going to create this, so we're going to delete everything. Hold down delete and you can hit 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now we're starting from scratch. We're going to start with drums. That's the most important thing. There's your drums. So we went load and then drum, but there's nothing in this. So we need to load, or we want plus and then drums. So we need to load from content instruments base, uh, or kits. We'll go Raider. Matrix, you can see it. There's nothing there. It's the same as pushing here. We'll go Step Sequencer. You can push melodic lanes, mono, 8x8, drum. We verify we have something in here. Within Step Sequencer, we can just do a quick little one, two, three, four kick, hit clip. I need to turn my loop length down because I have it set to eight. So there's four beats. Stop all, back to matrix, and launch. We'll uh, add baseline by hitting plus. Plugin. So the plugin is an instrument, but again, there's nothing there. Load, places, oops, well, content, instruments, baseline, open. We'll choose a base, thump thick. Load that, back to matrix. Double tap, baseline thick. Do it, close. Now we can go to step sequencer. Verify that we have base. All right, now we want more. We want another plugin. We want a synth this time. There's nothing here, right? It's load content instruments, scroll past the drum crap, Odyssey, hype is really easy to use, open. We already have bass, so we're gonna skip through that. Pads, those are gentle. Plucks, and uh, here's synths. And uh, fifth sweeper, or Sun Ra, the god. Let's load Sun Ra and see what that sounds like. Matrix, step sequencer. Oops, and I triggered lanes, lanes mono, mono, poly. Drums is linear, you can see what you're doing. Those are a whole another video feature set there, so double tap the top. ODD, Sun Ra. Do it. Now we see what we're working with. We've got in channel one, drums, two bass, three, 
synth and then four we want to record audio for some vocals so now we have audio there you'll need to go to mixer to make sure your routing is happy within here we're going to select the most important aspect uh, input one and two is what it defines as its original but you're only recording with one mic usually or one guitar bass whatever it is so if you record in with one and two is selected it will only record in the left or right of the two unless you have two microphones and you're jamming it out like that. We want to dial this back. You can double tap that. I just turn the knob up to go past the double selections to input one. I can jack a mic into my mixer or in the back of this thing, toggle instrument or mic level and do my recordings. It will put that on both, both uh, left and right tracks when it does the recording. Very important. So everything's toggled to one and two. When I normally do this, I put things in five, six, seven, and eight. So I want to do the stem style, drums, bass, synth, and audio, and then I can mix things on my mixer over here with the faders. Um, to record, toggle the record enable. And then you also have to hit record here before launching in launch mode or in the matrix mode. So record enabled, and we can toggle that. It'll prepare and record. Microphone in, you can stop it wherever, view the clip, go back to launch and matrix, and I can delete that empty file. So now we've got it, we want to save it. Don't double tap save ever, it writes over your stuff. We hit save once and we hit project as. Now I've already done this a couple times trying to get under 10 minutes, we're going to do it today. So I'll put template three. Do it. You can, uh, that was the naming, save as template with the checkbox, save, and then when you boot, it'll show you those options. You can toggle load the template. For me, I have it on the, the off mode from the menu that I showed you at the beginning, and I go into my files and I load the one I want for the day. So I have lots of different ones for different things. So now we've created all four of the tracks that we want to be able to open up and just hit play and start laying down some synth notes and ideas. So success here, clip stop. Uh, you can lay out the rest of yours with another synth line, more space for audio and editing and moving and cutting and chopping and cop, uh, copying again and uh, play from there. So much more to cover in this. This is just creating your very first template with a few of the sounds, getting some audio routing going. We have a few minutes left. I'll show you in Mixer. This is the most important screen. It defaults to, I believe, volume, but your I.O is your most important for getting things done. Effects is cool, you'll need to drop some things in there. But back to here, so if I wanted to do five, six, seven, eight and run my sub bus, I'll do videos on that. <clears throat> but uh, what we need to do is uh, a little MIDI so that we can control this. So for my drums, I want it on this LPD-8. I've got everything just plugged in in the back by USB. For my bass line, I just need a simple synthesizer. And this LPK25 is just fine for hammering it out. I can fat finger it, but it's not a big deal because we're just monophonic uh, in sub. We don't we don't lay out complex lines. So um, then with uh, Sunra, the synth, I'll do that through my Samson. And then the audio, it doesn't have MIDI or just recording in. So now we've got the uh, quick and easy go-to or we should. This is ridiculous. It doesn't make any sound because I didn't record enable. So if we record enable all of them, We've selected our MIDI. Now I've got, it's the third toggle for Samson. One, two, three, there we go. We've got all of them rolling. So I'm coming in with the timeline. We have so much more to cover. Please like and subscribe, watch the other videos. We'll be going through producing a track and laying down some audio in just a second here. Best to you all, get to it.